this is Artifacts of Mars. And I'm sitting here pondering why ABC News keeps hoaxing us with these bizarre photos which make no sense. This is uh, number three. I'm going to go through these. I got some new information. Sorry for the noise. Uh, I'm going to go over this. I got some new information about the first one. And I have a second one, which is supposed to show her soon ID or something, and then we'll go over this one. All three of them are apparently hoaxes. So, uh, we'll get started here shortly. Okay, I said I had some new information about the first photo that we are presented. Now, I tried uh, doing facial proportions, comparing it to the second photo that we'll see in, to be asked, the, uh, it was inconclusive. But take a look at the eyebrows. This is what's uh, bugging me about this one. You see how there's kind of reddish tinge, and there's also reddish tinge right near uh, the corner of the right eye. Something isn't right there. I don't specifically know what would cause that, but it looks to me like these eyebrows were painted on, possibly with uh, some sort of a dark red. Uh, makeup. They don't look like uh, real eyebrows. You can see for yourself. There's no hairs or anything. That's bad enough. Now take a look. Just to left of there. I'll put another arrow. There's a little flap of uh, skin, if you can call it that. Not only does it go over part of the eyebrow, but it goes over, it extends over part of the uh, veil or high job or whatever. Right here you have clear evidence that somebody's been doing some image manipulation. The question I'm asking is why? Why would they do this? It doesn't make any sense. And then, if you take a look at the, uh, I can't prove anything yet, but the whites of the eye, eyes don't look quite right. But here's the kicker. There's little or no eyelashes. One thing that women are routinely obsessed with is their eyelashes. There's nothing there. And generally, you know, women like to make their eyelashes longer, so some sort of instinctive thing that attracts men or something. At any rate, uh, there's no eyelashes. That's bizarre. I, what I'm uh, thinking is that these, uh, these eyes were actually photoshopped in to this photo. This is a composite photo, there's no question about that. The question is why? I want to know why. And I'm not getting any answers. Other than that, I've talked about the lack of the shadow behind her, or him, or whatever. There's a tiny little spot on the wall, but there's no shadow, and the person is lit, lit from the front. 
It's all part of this BS. I spotted it almost instantly because, well, I work with photos with the Mars stuff. I think the eyes were photoshopped. Um, I don't know what's, I don't know what the deal is with scars. The whole thing doesn't make any sense. Now we're going to look at photo number two. It gets worse from here. Hang on. Okay, from what I gather, this is supposed to be a student ID. Police all nights an official. Oh, uh, probably from Pakistan. I haven't checked out the logo or anything. I could care less. Well, what's wrong with this picture? I tried running proportions on this one, comparing it to the first one. And frankly, the results were inconclusive. So, and there was some variance in the facial proportions. This is an awful small picture. But what's wrong with this? Now, there's a couple of things that are completely wrong. Number one is, take a look on the left with the name. Tashfeen, and that's it. It's not even typed in, apparently stuck it on with a piece of paper. That's a student ID? That's completely wrong. No last name. And that, uh, that name, by the way, is a male's name. Not a woman's name at all. So, let's take a look at the date. What number system do we use here in the West? We use the Arabic system. So, no problem there except for one little issue. The date's in English. The numbers, the numbers are okay. They're a little bit different in an Arab country. I've been there, but... It's, that's nitpicking, so I gotta let that uh, pass. It's the same basic characters, but uh, look at the date July 13, 1986. It's in English. How convenient. You would think it would be in Arabic. It's the only thing, you know, we have her name in English and we have that in English. Oaks. This is bullshit, people. This one actually came from Reuters. So, this one didn't come from ABC, this one came from Reuters. Hoax. Once again. And... Other than that, we're going to take a look at number three. This, this is just amateurs. This is worse than the Obama birth certificate. Okay, this is Artifacts of Mars again, and... This was supposedly shot at O'Hare, Chicago's O'Hare Airport. Now, this one, there's a couple of issues here. Some of these I could probably let go, but wait till I uh, adjust the contrast on this one. You're going to see something interesting. First of all, he's wearing glasses. I've looked around some photos he wears glasses, one, some photos he doesn't. That's rather strange. But, in all fairness, he does wear glasses in some other photos, so... I kind of have to let that go. And here we have this butt-ugly woman again. 
Notice how this is on a slant. Why would you have a uh, camera at Chicago's O'Hare Airport on a slant? That doesn't make any sense. It's like they're leaning or something. But here's the kicker. I don't know if you realize this or not, but Muslim women walk behind their men. First, you could say that, yeah, she had to be uh, photographed for the camera. I'm not buying it, but uh, there's another problem here. See, the qual quality of her picture is substantially better than the quality of his. It's, it looks like this picture was painted in, uh, while well, photoshopped into this other picture. But take a look at this. This is what, this is the kicker right here. I'm going to, uh, bring up the, I'm going to adjust the exposure. I'm just going to adjust the contrast. Keep your eye on the ball. You see, uh, this seems to affect these two much more than it does the background. So, here's what I would suggest on this photo. It appears that they took an image of Farouk, stitched him into this photo, this isn't a portrait photo like you might expect if they're just photographing her. And they also stitched in her photo, if that's a her at all. I'm assuming it is. It is shorter than he is. So. Uh, it looks to me like, you know, the background is kind of a painted background, uh, kind of like you see a movie and it shows the big city in the background, and that's basically a fake background. That's what it looks like to me. At any rate, the contrast doesn't affect it as the same way it does them. And her picture is sharper and clearer than everything else is. So I would submit that probably their pictures were photoshopped in. Put into a uh, fake background like this. Like I said, similar to what you would have if you're, you know, you watch some movie and you're looking out the window at the big city. It's a fake, you know, it's a fake thing. It's just a picture. It's not real. And that's what I'm thinking here. This one's from ABC News, obviously. So the media continues to hoax us, and I don't know why. What what do you gain by doing this? This is what I'm asking. Uh, they're shucking. Those country boys call this shucking and jiving. Now, I don't have any easy answers. I just don't. I'm sorry, but I wish I did. But something is horribly wrong here. And if you look, you know, this background is all it's all pixelated as if it's exactly what I said. 
this is a picture in the background, and then these two were photoshopped in. I don't know what the purpose of this is. It's a hoax, hoax, hoax. There's something going on here, something we're not being told. I'm not saying that the shooting was a hoax. Absolutely not. Uh, what I am saying is they're giving us false information intentionally. The media is. And I don't know why. This is utter BS. Uh, you honestly think that they were photographed like this in Chicago's O'Hare Airport? That looks like some kind of, um, cop area or something, I don't know. But it's BS. You honestly think that they were photographed there together? It just won't work. I'll bring this close one more time. You see how that's all pixelated? That's a painted on background. Well, they've been put into that background. This is utter BS. This photo is not real. We are being hoaxed, and I don't know why. I'm not saying he wasn't married. I'm not saying the shooting was a hoax, but these photos are a hoax, and I want to know why. Any suggestions? Go ahead and post them. I have no idea. This is all wrong, people. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I stand by this. This is a hoax. Those two photos are hoaxes. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. That is incredible bullshit.